Assalamu alaikum guys. Today the topic is what's happened when Craig started an RCC structure. What is RCC structure? You know very well. If you are working on construction site, so after six months, 10 months, after five years, 10 years, Craig started an RCC structure. So what's happened with that structure if Craig started? So this is the topic for today. Remember guys, if Craig started an RCC structure. So Craig decreases the life of RCC structure. If the life of RCC structure is, for example, 100 years, so it can decrease the life of RCC structure, maybe 10 years, four, uh, four, five years, etc. So it decreases the life of structure, okay? If that is residential building, if that is commercial building, okay, but it can decrease the life of structure if Craig started inside RCC structure. The next one is, it reduces the stability against earthquake. It can reduce the stability, the structure stability against earthquake. So therefore, when you are making construction, especially design of beam, column, slab during construction on site, so be careful with some important points, okay? Uh, otherwise, you will face this problem. So the cracks will start inside the building. So that is not good for building because it can decrease this uh, stability against earthquake also crack decreases the life of rcc structure so it is a big issue okay next guys what is the causes of cracks so first of all you should know about the causes of cracks if you don't know about the causes of cracks so the cracks will start inside building construction so therefore these are the causes of cracks which i'm telling you here the first one is corrosion of concrete inside rcc structure we are providing steel bars so if the steel is rusted, okay, so corrosion of concrete, uh, corrosion of steel inside concrete, that is very dangerous. So therefore, due to more corrosion inside steel reinforcement, it can increase. So the corrosion can be increased. So therefore, don't use the rusted steel inside RCC structure. If that is uh, foundation, beam, column, slab, so don't use rusted steel rods. Okay, so this is one of the important point. The next ones. Poor construction. Poor construction means don't use the bad material. Use the proper grade of concrete if that is beam, column, slab. According to steel, according to structure load, use that ratio of grade of concrete. Okay, so this is the uh, second point. So poor construction. Okay, in poor construction, you can say if you are providing uh, the uh, the labor and they don't have good experience, so this is also the bad construction. If the grade of concrete, uh, so if you don't use the proper steel reinforcement, if you don't the proper gra uh, grade of concrete, so everything is including inside poor construction. So be careful with poor construction. If they are working poor, if, if they are making inside the uh, construction poor uh, material, so you will face this problem. The next one is error in design. Error in design means if you are making three-story building, so put factor of safety. Okay, so make a structure for four story so put the factor of safety so if there is the problem in in the design mean design of beam foundation column slab so you will face this problem because when uh, the depth of the beam the width of the beam the depth of foundation size of foundation if there is uh, error in that design so you will face this problem okay so be careful with the design next one is heavy structure load for example if you design the beam for two story building and you increase the story for example if you are making three story and the design is for two story or one story so you will face this problem so the cracks will start then you will face this problem so be careful with heavy structure load don't use heavy structure load so do the design for commercial if you are making commercial building so do the design for commercial building if you are making domestic building if you are making construction for domestic so do the design for domestic building if that is any structure okay the next one is guys early removal of farm work so we have the proper time for farm work if that is beam column slab foundation so don't remove early okay so that is also one of the big effect on the cracks okay so don't remove before uh, the proper time the last one is temperature changes okay so if there is changes in temperature Okay, it can increase the volume of concrete. Sometimes it can decrease the volume of concrete. So also be careful uh, with temperature. Okay, if you are working on construction site, if there is changes, so according to changes, put the water, 
uh, inside the concrete, grade of concrete. Okay, chemical reaction is also there. So these are some important causes of cracks, which I have already discussed the front of you. Hope this short video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.